Evening everyone. So time for another video here. This video is part of a series uh, where we're looking at some of the next generation firewall features on FortiGate appliances because it's super common that when I look at customers environments, potentially a new customer, they've got a FortiGate firewall but they've not got half of the next generation firewall features turned on. So we've already looked at application control uh, in the previous video now we're going to look at web filtering so what is web filtering the web filtering essentially is going to filter out the behavior of when users are trying to access websites now the key thing here is that the packet obviously has to go through the next generation firewall and it's accessible on the left hand pane, if you go down to security profiles, web filter, you can see that I've got a 40 bytes demo one configured, but it's not got any configuration inside it and it's not got any, it's not referenced to any firewall policy, so we'll, we'll work off this one. So if we go in here, um, the first key call out around best practice around implementing web filters is um, in my opinion you want to be um, proxy wants to be proxy based so things so anything that's outlined with a P here so you enforce safe search restrict YouTube ac access uh, log all search keywords uh, remove Java applets remove active X um, that is only works in proxy based mode uh, it doesn't work in flow based. So it's it, to actually configure um, a web filter policy, it, it's relatively simple. There's, there's a few different ways of doing it. So you can simply um, match against the FortiGuard database. So FortiNet themselves or FortiGuard uh, essentially are constantly um, monitoring websites that they're seeing uh, all Fortinet customers using and the categorizing them. So uh, you can see that there's drug abuse, hacking, um, violence, proxy avoidance, terrorism, crypto mining, <clears throat> loads of different um, categories that can be used here. Um, we will block, so for this video, we will block news and media. So you simply just left click it, block. So we will use CNN or BBC News. What we'll also do is we will implement a manual block. So what we do here is you go to URL filter and create new. And then I'm gonna do UK Sim Racing, which is another company that I own. Just do it simple. Uh, you can do what you can do wildcard masking that kind of thing and i'm going to set that to block i'm going to okay that now just to be clear uh this to actually implement a web filter you do need to match it against a firewall policy so let's do that now so uh this is my internal network going out to my SD1 interface. Um, as you can see, te test policy is the, is the name. This matches the MAC address of the PC that I'm recording the video on. But we need to go out, we actually need to actually go in here and we need to match the 40 bytes demo um, policy. But before we do that, I'm just going to demonstrate that there is no blocking in place to a couple of websites so we're going to go to uh, uk sim racing.co.uk um, you can see that this site loads just absolutely fine one thing to mention is we are doing um, the packet inspection or full ssl man in the middle here so if i look at the certificate that's been presented uh, i'm this is definitely not best practice, but I'm just doing this for, as an example. Uh, I'm using the uh, self-signed certificate from the FortiGate appliance. So you can see that the certificate that is issued um, to the client, which is my PC, is that certificate. 
then the 40 gate firewall um, and my PC have a session between them. And then once the packet reaches the 40 gate firewall, it, <clears throat> it renegotiates a new session to ukcimracing.co.uk directly. The next, vid, the next website that uh, is not being blocked is BBC News. UK. Oh, that's a site. Yeah, BBC News. So you can see that that site loads up just fine as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close that browser off. I'm going to go into the, the firewall policy. I'm going to and change the web filter to the 40 bytes demo. Just to be clear, we configure two things inside this specifically. We configure blocking for news websites and we configure blocking for um, a more generic URL block for UK Sim Racing. And as you can see, deep packet inspection is enabled. So let that policy just load in a second, open up a new browser so there's no caching, browse over to UK Sim Racing. Bam, as you can see, the website has now been blocked by the web filter. Go to BBC News, and again, you can see that the website has now been blocked by the website filter. But just, just before we close off the video, uh, I just wanted to show a few other things that are configurable within the security profile. So certainly, uh, this is something that uh, I see a lot of schools, that kind of thing, wanting. So um, the ability to enforce safe search um, can be done here. Again, it, you do have to have a proxy-based firewall policy to do this, not flow-based. Restrict YouTube access, and definitely this one is probably the number one that we get asked for, is the ability to log all search keywords. And that brings this relatively short video to a close. It's the second video in a probably a four or five part series. You don't need to watch the videos in any specific order, but what I will do is I will pop up the other videos um, in the top uh, right hand corner. Now, um, if you like the content, please give me feedback via comments, like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. See you in the next video.